Hello and welcome to Handmade by Julia Quinn. Today's video is all about showing you the beautiful sentimental swirls, swirls stamp set, which has this large feature swirl and lots of really cute things to go with it, like leaves and flowers and butterflies, two different size flowers which coordinate with punches that we have, a bird, butterfly, and more leaves and happy birthday thank you hello and for you it's a really good basic getting started stamp set and I've used it to create this little easel card that can be used as a display card on your mantelpiece or something I recently did this at, at a class at um, a tea room where I live and we needed something simple but something fun and pretty so this card was it and when I said it was for your mental piece someone thought I said it was a mental card so that's now what it is christened the mental card but let's create it together okay I have my little bag of goodies here with all my bits and pieces so the actual card pop that out of the way the actual card is your normal standard size cardstock, but not folded in half. It's actually sort of folded in thirds. So the first third is for the card size, and then this third is to create the concertina base, which I am folding backwards and forwards like that to create a stand so that your card automatically stands up. So it can be pushed flat to be posted in an envelope, but it also can, can be stood up just with that simple concertina on the end. So thirds in thirds, and then this one has is folded in thirds itself, that third, okay? So while we're folding that, let's stick that one together. And I like to use tear and tape for this sort of card. I have used this card to create mini calendars as well. Exactly the same fold so that you can pop your little mini calendar and some sort of embellishment on the side. And that just sits, I have one of them sitting on my desk in front of me so that I can always check the date quickly and easily without looking for the calendar. Okay, so there's the card. Just a little triangle card with the concertina in the bottom so that it can stand up okay all right let's get on to the stamping I've got coastal cabana a super pretty cardstock color pool party shimmer ribbon and some white baker's twine and two pieces of paper here which I will use a scrap piece of paper and then the large swirl now, before I stamp my swirl, I actually will stamp my greeting so that I have somewhere, so that I know where I'm going with the swirl. And I'm going to use Coastal Cabana ink. Right, and this one, this one I'm going to create into a thank you card. So I'll stamp the thank you right in the middle. There we go. And then with my large swirl, ink up my the beauty of these photopolymer stamps is that you can see exactly where you're doing your stamping you can organize it around the greeting okay there we go on that side and then some on the top sorry excuse my hand being there in the way and then maybe another little swirl down here there we go. There's the front. And while I'm doing my swirl, I'll stamp a couple little swirls for the back of my card, which will be the writing panel, to write a greeting to my recipients. <clears throat> I'll just clean that one off. And then for the rest of my embellishment, I'm going to use flirty flamingo and the little tiny flower from the stamp set this little one here just 
stamp a couple little flowers around. One, two, three. That will do for the back and then the front. One, two, three, four, one more, five. There we go. Now the other thing I'd like to show you, I've added a little bit of colour to my flowers and also shimmer at the same time. So with my Flirty Flamingo ink pad, I'm just going to pop a little bit of ink on my block, a spare block I've got there. And I'm going to use a Wink of Stella pen, which adds shimmer and shine. It's just beautiful. It's a, a bit of a favorite tool. And it works exactly the same as your water painter. So the more you ink you put on, the darker the color. The more you spread it out, the lighter the colour. And then I'm just going to add a little bit of colour to each of those petals. Just to tart it up a bit. Bling it, sparkle it, bring it to life. And there we go. And it's always good to put your ink onto an actual stamping block. Because that way you're not adding... Uh, your sparkle to your actual ink pad. Mind you, I do have several sparkly ink pads. And you don't dilute your ink as well with with a water painter or your Wink of Stella pen. There we go, there's the front. And then some flowers on the back. Okay. Almost done. Just a little bit of colour, tart it up. And then to clean your Wink of Stella brush, you just swish it on a bit of scrap paper till it goes clear. And it's all ready for doing the next project. Okay, pop all that out of the way. Now it's up time to assemble my card. <clears throat> now these little pieces of basic white are just a touch smaller. Then the Coastal Cabana, which is also just a touch smaller than the card base, just to create those lovely layers of colour. Alright, and now choose which side you want to be the front and which side you want to be the back. And pop the front of my card. There we are, and then on the back of my card, like so, and then one of my favourite new products from our mini catalogue is these gorgeous iridescent rhinestones. They are so sparkly and they pick up the colour of whatever you put them on. They're just beautiful. And picking up the pinks and they pick up the blues and greens and the purples. They're absolutely beautiful. So, one, two, and as you can see, they've been well used in my craft room. So I've got I have to get some more soon. There we go. That's that. And then I'll add my ribbon embellishment just to make it extra pretty. I'm just going to tie a bow in my ribbon, my pool party ribbon, which coordinates very nicely with the, what I do, the Coastal Cabana cardstock and ink. They all coordinate so beautifully together. That's what I love about our Stampin' Up! product. It was one of the first things that really attracted me actually when I joined Stampin' Up! was the amazing colour coordination. Okay, there we are. Oop. And trim that little piece off there. So my tails are the right length. Add that onto my project using 
mini glue dot, put that over here. And then because one ribbon is never enough, I'm going to double over some white twine. And this comes in a great little essentials pack of white, vanilla, black, grey and crumb cake. There we go. And I'll just pull my tails there. Create my lovely boo. And trim this one. There we are. My scripts. And again, the magic of the mini glue dot. Stick that onto the mini glue dot, pull it off, and pop that over my pool party ribbon. And that is my gorgeous card complete. Very simple. Very simple, but so pretty. And the recipient can just pop it in front of them to know that they appreciate it or that they're celebrating their birthday. Now, when I did this recently at my little class, we also had a coordinating little gift box, which I'd love to share with you as well. Now, the gift box is made using some of, and I've got a few here ready to go, my little stamping piece using some of the lovely sunshine and rainbows paper now, there's a couple of the pieces that i have left over these beautiful colors and lovely designs and spots and okay i'm going to go for the same colors that i used before now this piece of paper here is six inches by four inches and then I've scored it at one. Oops, didn't fold that very well, Julia. One inches and three inches. This paper um, was a bit traumatized because I tipped a full glass of water over, over my desk and happened to catch some of the papers that was sitting there and it's all dried out but <laughs> it's affected the score lines that I had there okay so four inches wide scored at one inches and three inches this is six inches and I think this is two and a half inches and three and a half inches there and then you just snip on each side of this is the base of the little mini gift box snip up each side of the base and then you just pop the sides up and your box is created so I'll just put a little bit of adhesive on the inside panels and then some on those two there that is all I need okay so I can come up and pop these hope you can see that properly up there and then this one and this one okay and then to complete my box I've just pinched it just pop my fingers on the top and pinched it at the top okay now for the opening flap of my little gift box this piece here is two inches by two inches scored in half and then it makes a lovely little flap there so you just need to put adhesive on one half one two and line up the top of your little gift box with the score line there. There we are. And then that is the top of the gift box created. And I have added <coughs> a cute little peg. These are now retired, but I had some left over. Cute little peg to seal it. So that way the, the um, gift packaging can, is resealable. Okay, and to add to my project, I'm going to stamp a couple of little 
flowers. And I'm going to punch them out using this lovely Strawberry Builder Punch. Okay, so if I look how the punch is oriented and stamp my flowers at this end of the pa paper, that will work perfectly for the punch. And also, stamp a little for you at the other end will trim and popped on pop onto our little the flap of that gift box and once again just before I punch them out I'll use my wink of Stella and the ink I have from before and add a little bit of color to my flowers okay one Here we are, and then I'll be able to punch them out just by feeding into the edge of the punch. One. I find with punches like this, it's good to use a nice thin strip. Just big enough for the image with a piece on the end that you can feed in rather than trying to punch the whole piece of cardstock. Now for my for you I'll just trim that off. I might trim it off a little bit crooked to make it a bit fun. There we go. Put some glue on the edge of on the back of that one. Stick that onto my flap. And then I will add my little flowers using some stamping dimensionals. Two mini stamping dimensionals. We'll pop one there. And there, and the final thing, of course, put my little peg at the top, keep it closed. Maybe I'll put my peg here now. Final thing is, of course, some bling on each of the little flowers. One, two, and there we have a gorgeous little coordinating mini gift and a gift card that you can display on the mantelpiece so it's a mental card bye bye now thanks for joining me